Now I just say it. I said, Praise the Lord. I want to show my appreciation to the government of Niger State. And for all the representatives who are here, we appreciate our governor. We love you and appreciate you. I pray that tonight will be a night, not just for people who are here, a time of blessing for the old state in Jesus' name. We well, thank the Lord for our overseers who are here. And for all our Lagos uh, headquarters representatives who are here. For all the men, for all the women. And for those of you who are here. Tonight is going to be an unforgettable day in your life in Jesus' name. Now I want you to realize you. Why is the person there? I said you. You are the most important person to God here tonight. He wants to do something in your life. That's why he brought you here. There's a solution to every problem of your life. Somebody help me shout the word solution. Your solution has come. If that's you, I'm talking about, raise up that hand and receive your blessing. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. I'm asking you, Lord, tonight, you descend mightily upon everyone in Jesus' name. Solution for everyone. Salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Supernatural so signs and wonders for everyone. Touch every life tonight and move them in the direction of their miracle. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Niger State, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. God bless you. You can see that in the blessing of the Lord. I'm talking tonight on something very important. And it is for you tonight. You want to pay attention. Because heaven is paying attention upon your life. All of the glory of God. All of the power of God. All the things you call miracle. Everything is coming your way tonight. And I'm believing God tonight. All problems you are brought here. There is a mighty power. There is a mighty anointing. And it's going to solve all those problems in Jesus' name. Ah, I can't hear my people. He will solve your problem. I'm reading to you from Mark. Gospel according to St. Mark. And I'm reading from verse 26. It says, and they were astonished out of measure. Something had happened. Somebody came running. He wanted eternal life. He wanted the blessing of God. And the Lord made that eternal life available. Instead of receiving that eternal life, he went back home sorrowful. And the disciples of Christ were surprised. How could you be near the Savior and not get saved? How could you be near the healer and not get healed? How could you stand in front of the deliverer and not be delivered? How can you stand in the power before the power of heaven and then you are powerless? They were surprised. And it says they were surprised, astonished beyond measure. Saying, what did they say among themselves? Who then can be saved? If this man was so near, he wasn't saved, who then can be saved? Look at this man, as so near healing, he wasn't healed, who can be healed? Look at this man in front of the deliverer, he wasn't delivered, who then can be delivered? And the Lord took that surprise away. And Jesus, looking upon them, said, 
with men, this is impossible. But with God, with God, with God, all things are possible. I come to celebrate with you tonight. Because in your life, I said in your life, what is he? In your life, what is she there? Tonight, all things are possible. It's going to open those blind eyes. All things are possible. It's going to make that lame person of the wheelchair to rise up and walk. All things are possible. And the person that had that tummy that is big because of something packed there, that thing will vanish away tonight. And those, those people that are brought from uh, healing houses and hospitals, and you are there helpless now at the mention of the name of Jesus, you will get well tonight. Because Jesus said in your life, in my life, in our midst tonight, he said with God, all things are possible. That's why we said we're bringing you to the God of solution. Your problems are solved tonight. The afflictions are cancelled tonight. The power of darkness is cancelled tonight. And the glory of God is coming upon your life in Jesus' name. Remember what I told you. That you are the most important person here tonight. And your problem is essential to God. And the Lord is going to solve your problem tonight. I said the Lord is going to solve your problem tonight. I'm talking to you tonight. On supernatural solutions through the Almighty. Supernatural solution through the Almighty. He's so mighty, he created us. He's so mighty, he sent a savior to save us. He's so mighty, he's going to strengthen those who are weak. He's so mighty, he's going to raise up those who are lying down. He's so mighty, he's going to forgive your sin. He's so mighty, he's going to grant you salvation. He's so mighty, he's going to heal your sickness. Everything you have found impossible with man. It's becoming possible tonight. I said it's becoming possible tonight. Something definite must happen in your life tonight. Something wonderful must happen in your life tonight. Because all those things that were impossible with me, tonight they'll be possible in your life. Supernatural solution. Somebody help me shout supernatural solution. Through the Almighty. Through the Almighty. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, supernatural solution for every situation. Every situation in your life. As a family man. As a professional man. Every situation in your life. As a person going through some trials and difficulties. All the conflict in your life. All the problems of your life. Supernatural solution has come tonight. Supernatural solution in every situation. Number two. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. You see, he came to forgive us. He didn't come to jest, to make jest of us because of our sin. Ridicule us because of our sin. Condemn us because of our sin. He came to save. He came to give salvation. A salvation religion cannot give to us. A salvation we cannot possess by ourselves. A salvation you cannot receive from River Jordan. Or River Niger. Any river. A salvation that comes from heaven. Supernatural. 
the kind of salvation that turns your life around. That salvation is just tonight. I said salvation is just tonight. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. Number three, I'm going to talk on supernatural signs and wonders. Somebody shout signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Your life will become wonderful. Your family will become wonderful. Your experience will become wonderful. Supernatural. Not natural. Not ordinary. Not human. Not biological. Not something human beings can do for you. Supernatural signs and wonders for every seeker. You're looking for something. You're searching for something. You're saying, that's why I came. I want signs and wonders in my life. You will see it tonight. I said you'll see it tonight. What do we call signs and wonders? Miracle. Healing. Power. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Freedom. Deliverance. That tonight, all those who are in chains, they'll be set free in Jesus' name. That's a miracle for everyone. The signs and wonders for everyone. Supernatural signs and wonders for every seeker. Number one, solution. Number two, salvation. Number three, signs and wonders. Number one, how do we get supernatural solution in every situation? Uh, look at this, Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. Uh, Mark is about to tell us something. And this experience will be reproduced in your life tonight. This is what we are going to say at the end of the meeting tonight. This is what we are going to testify at the end of the meeting tonight. This is going to be the power manifestation of the word of God in your life tonight. Because you'll never be the same again. I'm talking to somebody there. I said you'll never be the same again tonight. I'm looking at Mark chapter 7. And it's in verse 37. Mark chapter 7, verse 37. And it says, they were beyond measure astonished. Saying, he has done all things well. I'm talking about Jesus. He has done all things well. They were surprised. They were testifying about Jesus. He has done all things well. Everybody came with their problems. Everybody came with their oppression. Everybody came with attack. Everybody came with affliction. Everybody came with sickness. Everyone without exception. Tonight, everyone without exception. Over there, everyone without exception. I'm talking to the man, to the woman sitting down there. Everybody without exception. They were surprised. You look at yourself tonight, you'll be surprised. Your neighbors will look at you tonight, you'll be surprised. I see miracle on you. I see the power of God on you. I see the solution to every problem you have brought tonight. That's why they were surprised. When they were coming, they thought, I might get something. He might get something. But he was surprised. And they testified. He has done all things well. That's why we come to him. Because we know when we come to Christ, we come to that final solution. We come to that supernatural solution. We come to the power of God that is able to roll every mountain away. When it says, and they were surprised without, without measure. Surprised beyond measure. And then they testified. He has done all things well. 
Who is this? I said, who is this? Tell me his name. Shout out his name. And the Bible said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's still going about doing good. Healing all. Touching all. Delivering all. Recovering all. That are oppressed of the devil. Something that surprised them. Number one. He did all things well. They had had stories about Christ. Before he came to them. Just like the testimonies you have heard tonight. Blind eyes have been opened. He did it in the past. The lame rose up and walked. He did it in the past. Those who are insane, he removed insanity. He did it in the past. They were surprised. They were amazed. Because they said in the past, he did all things well. He has done all things well. That's solution. Solution for every problem. Solution for every situation. Solution in your own situation. Not only that, he did in the past. He does in the present. His power never fails. God says, I'm God, I change not. Everything God did in the past, he's able to do today. Everything God has done for all the people like you in the past, is going to do today. The Bible gives a testimony concerning Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the same. The same Savior. The same healer. The same deliverer. And the same one that sets us free. The same redeemer. He did all things well. He has done all things well. He is doing all things well. Tonight in your life. I said tonight in your life. What are you? Tonight in your life. He does all things well. You will see tonight. I said you will see tonight. He's going to save your soul. He's going to forgive your sin. He's going to give you salvation. He's going to give you freedom. And then he's going to open those blind eyes. He's going to set the captive free. And he's going to improve on every situation of your life. He did. He does. He will yet do. You see, Christ, the past, the present, and the future. He will yet do. He will do everything wonderful in your life tonight. You are going to have a personal experience that Christ tonight is going to touch your life. Christ tonight is going to move every mountain in your life. And you'll be able to say, I had it. I experienced it. I've seen it in my life. He did it before. He's doing it today. He will do it tonight. He will do it in your life. And it says they were all astonished beyond measure. That lame person on your side, you'll be surprised beyond measure, he'll rise up and walk. That blind person you brought, you'll be surprised tonight, the eyes will open and you will see. That child that never, take, that never took a step in his life, tonight, he'll take that step, he'll rise and walk normally. Because there is supernatural solution in every situation. Look at that verse again. Saying, he has done all things well. He maketh, he maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. He maketh, he maketh, he maketh. 
the deaf and the dumb to receive their miracle. It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. Because he had told us already. With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. I said, with God, all things are possible. In your life there tonight, I said, with God, all things are possible. In your tummy there tonight, I said, all things are possible. In your brain there tonight, I said, all things are possible. And whatever challenge you have, whatever crossroads you are in, whatever conflict in your life, whatever disease in your life, tonight all things are possible. It will be done. I said it will be done. Not just it, I said it will be done. Number two, supernatural salvation for every sinner. Have you heard this before? If you have not heard, you know it yourself. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And yet, there's another sin. No sinner eh, can get to heaven with a sin. And that should not surprise you. You want to go to the palace of the emir. And then all over from head to foot, you are defiled with dirty water or dirty substance. We are going to allow you to enter the palace of the emir with all that dirt and defilement on you. They want us to respect the position of our leader. You want to clean up before you get to the palace. Paradise, heaven is the palace of the king of kings. Heaven is the palace of the almighty. The angels are there and there's no defilement on them. The saints are there, no defilement on them. Abraham is there, there's no defilement on him. Moses is there, there's no defilement on him. And all the people who are there, they have been cleansed from their defilement. And God wants you to be in heaven. We're going to the palace of the king. Somebody there said, we're going to the palace of the king. Okay, if you're not going, I am going to the palace of the king. You will go. You will get there. But you know, he has sent the Lord Jesus to get us ready to go there. There is something we must have. So we can get there. You will get there. Where are you? I said you will get there. I said you will get there. To the palace of the king of kings. To that heaven eventually. What ticket do we need? What permit do we need? What will help you to get to that palace of the king? It is called salvation. And it's not a kind of salvation that is made here that you, you know, put some things together here. A salvation that is made in heaven and then given to you as a gift here on earth. The gift of salvation. The gift of salvation. You will have it tonight. I can't hear my people. I said you will have it tonight. I love that gift of salvation. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. Number one, it is something everybody can do. Supernatural salvation for every, every sinner. If I can get it and you cannot get it, then it's not for everybody. 
If it is mine, if it is not yours, then it's not for everybody. If it's for the man, it's not for the woman, then it's not for everybody. If it is only for those who go to church and those who have not been going to church, then it's not for everybody. But it is yours tonight. I said it is yours tonight. How will you have it? How will you have this supernatural salvation? Thank God I see you there. Salvation is coming your way. Forgiveness is coming your way. Redemption is coming your way. Mark chapter 1. In Mark chapter 1, verse 15, and saying, The time is fulfilled. What time is that? Time of salvation. Your salvation is very near. I said, Your salvation is very near. Tonight, your time has come. The time is fulfilled. And it says, the kingdom of God is at hand. It says, you are about to enter the kingdom now. You are about to have the salvation from the king. The salvation that will permit you. The ticket that will allow you to get into the palace of the king. It says, Be repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent ye and believe the gospel. You see what the Lord is saying? He's saying there must be a desire in you to get to the kingdom. And to prove there's a desire. Because he could just give you the salvation. But if somebody gives you a gift you don't want, you're not appreciated. If somebody gives you a gift, you don't even know the importance of that gift, you will not understand it. And so, that you will know that you desire that ticket to heaven. That you actually want that permission to get to heaven. And that this is for your heart to get to the kingdom of God. He said, this is one thing. Repent ye and believe the gospel. I don't understand. What does that mean? Repent. What it means is this. Look up at me here. Here is the king of kings. Here is the almighty. Here is Jesus the savior. You were turning your back on him. You were facing an opposite direction. And he's calling your name. I brought salvation to you. I brought forgiveness to you. I brought eternal life to you. And you are backing him. He says, repent. What does that mean? He says, turn. And face me. That's repent. You are facing darkness. He is the light. Turn. And face the light. You are going after Satan. He says, I'm your savior, I'm here. Turn and face the savior. You are going down. Down to the dungeon. Down to perdition and destruction. He says, look up here. Come back. Repent. That means drop everything that is of darkness. Drop everything that defiles. Drop everything that is evil. And say, Jesus, I want you. Jesus, I want you. I turn away from sin. I turn to my Savior. I turn away from darkness. I turn to the light. I turn away from the devil. I turn to my deliverer. That's repent. You are going to turn to the Lord tonight. Where are you? I said you are turning to the Lord tonight. At the moment you turn, then it says, and believe. Believe. 
He said, believe the gospel. What does that mean? Believe the good news. What's the good news? You cannot pay for salvation. I have paid for salvation for you. You cannot buy salvation with your currency, but I have been giving salvation to you with the currency of heaven. Tonight, your salvation is paid for. What you cannot do by yourself, Christ has come to do it. He has paid the price. He died for you on the cross of Calvary. The whole, the whole price has been paid. He shed his blood so that you can be redeemed. He shed his blood so you can be forgiven. He died on the cross and he purchased the salvation full and free so that what you cannot do by yourself, Christ has now done it for you. And the good news says this. Nothing more needs to be added to what Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. Trust him. Salvation has now come. And that salvation is just tonight. What are you? I said that salvation is just tonight. He will forgive your sin tonight. Remember what he said? If you're going to get a ticket to the kingdom. If you are going to get that opportunity to get into the paradise of God. Repent ye. Turn away from your sin. Turn away from darkness. Turn away from evil. And turn to the Savior. And that turning is not the final thing. Believe him. Trust him. Accept him. That he and he alone is my savior, will be my savior forever. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. You will get it tonight. You will claim it tonight. You turn away from every evil and then you turn to the Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight you are saved. Number three, supernatural signs and wonders for every seeker. Who is a seeker? Somebody is looking for something. You got something before you lost it. You are not looking for it. You used to be strong. You lost your strength. Now you are weak. And you are now seeking for that strength all over again. You used to be healthy. Now you are sick. And your sickness, you are looking, you are seeking for that health again. You used to be free, courageous, bold and powerful. But now you are so fearful. And now you are oppressed. And you are looking for that freedom again. That is a seeker. And you're seeking the blessing of God tonight. You're seeking the goodness of God tonight. You're seeking the salvation of God tonight. You're seeking the healing tonight. You're seeking the power tonight. You're seeking the deliverance tonight. You're seeking for that sign and for that wonder. To come into your life tonight. This is your night. I said this is your night. The night of signs and wonders. Who can do signs and wonders? His name is Jesus. When you are healed, signs and wonders. When you are delivered, signs and wonders. When all your chains are broken, signs and wonders. When the deaf receive their hearing, signs and wonders. When the lame, when they rise up and they walk. Signs and wonders. When a miracle comes to your life. Signs and wonders. It is happening. Where are you? I said it's happening. 
You will not go back home the same tonight in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 16. In Mark chapter 16, I'm reading to you here from verse 15. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Who are the partakers of the signs and wonders? Of the salvation of the Lord? Those are the people, every creature, everyone here tonight. I said everyone here tonight. I said everyone here tonight. Signs and wonders coming upon your life. Gospel salvation coming upon your life. The goodness of God coming upon your life. Solution to your problem coming upon your life. Go preach the gospel to every creature. That's why the good news is coming to you. The good news of the love of God. The good news of the power of God. The good news of the salvation of God. The good news of the redemption of God. And then it says in verse 16. Verse 16. It says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Tonight I believe. Tonight I believe. What is he there? What is she there? Tonight I believe. And that eternal life will come to you. The signs and the wonders will come to you. And then in the latter part of verse 16. But he that believeth not shall be damned. He that believeth not shall be damned. Tonight I believe. Said for self, tonight I believe. And then look at verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. This miracle will follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. Signs and wonders are following you home tonight. Salvation following you home tonight. Deliverance following you home tonight. Forgiveness following you home tonight. Freedom following you home tonight. The power that breaks every yoke following you home tonight. And this sign shall follow them that believe. It says, in my name, you cast out devils. Those demonic powers are destroyed tonight. Those devilish powers are destroyed tonight. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Your night of freedom. The night of the anointing that breaks every yoke. Give me a good night. Just say, Amen. The signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they cast out devils. Then in his name, he says, they're going to speak with a new language. The old language, I am sick, that language is gone. The old, the old language, I am not able, that language is gone. The new language is coming in your mouth. I am saved. New language, I am healed. New language, I am delivered. New language, I am set free. New language, I will succeed. New language, I am going to heaven. New language, I am more than a conqueror. New language, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. New language has come. And then it says, if they lay their hands on the sick, they shall recover. I will recover. What are you? I will recover. I said, what are you? I will recover. I recover my sight. I recover my limbs. 
I recover my strength. I recover my healing. There's a recovery tonight for everyone. I said there's recovery tonight for everyone. It has come to you. Supernatural signs and wonders for every seeker. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Tonight, salvation is coming to everyone. Tonight, healing is coming to everyone. Tonight, deliverance is coming to everyone. Tonight, it will set you free. Where are you there? Where are you there? Where are you there? Solution. Salvation. Signs and wonders. They're all yours tonight in Jesus' name. And you know what, how you get that? Repent ye and believe the gospel. Tonight, your salvation has come. I said, tonight your salvation has come. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord has come to give you salvation tonight. He wants to forgive your sin. He wants to change your life. He wants to turn your life around. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want the salvation of the Lord tonight, you raise up your hand wherever you are. You don't want to go back home with the load of sin. With the guilt of sin. With the condemnation of sin. With the damnation of the sinner. You don't want to go back home with the mark of the sinner upon your heart. And you're saying, yes, Lord, I'm here tonight. I want your forgiveness. I want your freedom. I want your redemption. And I want your salvation. Where are you there? Raise up your hand. Praise the Lord. It's coming to you now. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up. That's good. That's right. That's right. You want salvation, you'll stand up. You want that forgiveness, you'll stand up. You want that ticket to heaven, you'll stand up. You want that change of life, you'll stand up. You want that supernatural salvation, you'll stand up. He'll give it to you tonight. And you'll be able to say, Praise the Lord on that day. I repented. I turned. I gave up my sin. I came to Christ. I believed in Christ. Now I am saved. Tell the Lord right there while you're standing. Lord, I thank you. You purchased salvation for me. Tell the Lord right there. Lord, I thank you. My salvation is a possibility tonight. Tell the Lord right there while you're standing. Forgiveness has come to me tonight. Eternal life has come to me tonight. Salvation is mine tonight. I turn away from my sin. I repent of my sin. I give up my evil. I believe in Jesus now. I accept him. I believe him. I trust him. He died for me. He is my savior. He died for me on the cross. I accept that salvation from Christ now. Say that a minute. Say that and mean that in your heart. And you will not turn to any evil thing anymore. Raise up your hand and pray with you now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the healing of our soul of our mind, of our heart. Thank you because you are setting us free. Lord, I pray for these who want your salvation. 
grant them that salvation now in Jesus name grant them total forgiveness now in Jesus name thank them the joy of salvation the victory that comes with salvation grant them the faith that takes hold on Christ to be their savior Confirm each in every one of their hearts. Supernatural salvation for every sinner. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I got salvation. I can't hear you. I got salvation. I got salvation. And I pray the Lord will make it permanent in your life in Jesus' name. I can't tell us that there. They will interact with you a little. Don't go home yet. We're still praying for those who have any challenge. Your miracle is waiting for you. We call on our state of us here to help us in this time of Counseling those of God's salvation. We have our counselors just by your side. They are just there to help you get some basic information. These information are to help us to help you further. As many of us tonight, you have given yourself totally to the Lord Jesus. A counselors are by your side. Sleep are given to you. The information we are getting from you is to help us reach out further to you. Write whatever you are writing in capital letters. Your name very clear. So that by the time we reach out to you, it will be easy for us to reach to get you. Remember, we are still waiting for prayer. Your name, your address. If your area may not have a, a clear address, just a place where you can easily be real. Your common name by which you are known around your area that if we ask of you, they will know that you are the one we are asking for. Remember, remember these information are meant to help us further to get across to you. If you have finished it, don't go away. Counselor, remain where you are because Miracles, special signs and wonder are coming and you are going to help these people to come forward as uh, they are receiving their miracle and they are receiving their miracles tonight. Just say where you are. You don't need to return back to where uh, to your seat. Just say where you are. Are you ready? If you have given your sleep all and you are ready, say yes, I'm ready. Again, if you have given out your sleep and you are ready, say yes, I am ready. Cancel us, remain where you are. Collect those forms. Collect those forms. And submit them to the relevant officials. Impatient. Possess your souls. Be patient tonight. 
the Lord will visit you right there where you are sitting down. The Lord will visit you right there where you are standing up. Many of us were standing at the back. Right there where you are standing. You will receive his touch. Quiet and be patient. Cancel us. Just remain where you are. Praise the Lord. Niger State, if you are still there, I said, Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. The night of the God of Solution. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? Supernatural Solution. Supernatural signs and wonders upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. A miracle is coming your way. Salvation has come already. Now healing is coming. Miracle is coming. The power of God is coming. If your eyes are blind, those blind eyes will be opened. If you are lame, you rise up and walk. If you have any tumor, that tumor will be taken away. Any challenge from the devil, any affliction from the devil, supernatural hand is touching you tonight. Are you going to receive your miracle? Check up your life and see what's there now. See the problem there. See the infirmity there. See the insanity there. And see the sickness, disease that you have there. Lay your hand in that place where you have the problem. And then we're going to pray. Supernatural solution will come. Supernatural healing will come. And supernatural deliverance will come. And then after you hear the final night stage, amen. Then you check up yourself. Amen means it is so. It will happen in your life. So if you are asking for a miracle, signs and wonders, solution, healing, deliverance, raise up that hand. Remember when you hear the final amen, you check up. And you find that your miracle is there. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name tonight. You are the God of wonders, the God of solution, and the God of creation, the God Almighty. With you all things are possible. I come on behalf of your people tonight, and I pray you touch everyone in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you look at them in their condition. Sick, oppressed, sorrowful, they are suffering. Let your power come from heaven. Touch their lives in Jesus' name. Heal them of all their sicknesses. Deliver them from all their oppressions. Bring supernatural solution to every problem tonight in Jesus' name. Any challenge, any difficulty, any sickness, any infirmity, touch them right now. Take it away in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. Demonstrate the healing in every life. I thank you because I know it is done. Your people have received their miracle tonight. 
In Jesus' name we pray. It's there already. I said it's there already. Your healing is there. Your miracle is there. Whatever you were not able to do before, do it now. Because now you are healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. It is done in Jesus' name. Shuck up, shuck up, shuck up, shuck up. Jesus is washing, is walking around. Shuck up, shuck up. The miracle worker is walking around. He's walking around to confirm the word of God has been confirmed. You are bringing them out. We will hear and we shall rejoice with you. We will hear and we shall sing with you. Wherever you are, those who are the far, far, far. Counselors are there to help you. They are coming. I tell you, they are coming. Just be patient. Just be patient. Are you there? Far at my right hand. Far at my left hand. Dear, shake up. Shake up. We are not in hurry. Be sure where you are. You are here. Dead. Come from the hospital. You are here. You are rising up. The miracle you have never had before. You will see. I can see those people already walking. Walking with their leg. Walking with their legs. Come out. Come out. Our counselors are there. Blind man. You are reading what you couldn't read before. Don't man. You are hearing. Don't. You are speaking. Yes. We are patient. We are not in hurry. Counselors. Just help them. He has given you victory. We shall rejoice with you. He has given you victory. Come up as you are shaking them up. As you are shaking them up. We are not in hurry. We are waiting. You know, last, uh, uh, this, the last time we had the air, we waited and you are surprised. Now, counselors and our leaders, you can start. Interview them. And when you are sure, let them come forward. Let them come forward. They will share their testimonies. Yes, 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 yes. We are just starting. Hearing, hallelujah, hallelujah. We will sing it. We are waiting. We are not in hurry. They are coming forward. They are coming forward. Your wish shall be full away. Uh, we are just started. You are just started. You are just started. Let them start coming up. Sing and sing and sing and sing. The Lord is going to give you a new tongue, a new sing, a new song tonight. Shake up, shake up. Shake up, shake up. And as you are shaking up, and you are sure, our leader, let them come. Let them come. Be sure. Your clapping has just started. Your clapping has just started. You will clapping will never stop in your life. I said clapping will never stop in your life. Sorrow has been taken away. Shake everything up. They can start coming. When you interview them, they are sure they are coming. They are coming. We are patient. We are not rushing up. Our counselors, are you there? One by one. We are waiting. We are waiting. They can start. Now our leader can they start giving, coming up one by one to share the testimony. We are waiting. We are not in hurry. You will share the, the glory of God.
Can they come start? Can they, they can they start coming? If they are ready, why not in hurry? But make sure you shake them up. God is good. God is good. God is good. You will have your own testimonies. He has given a victory. We're waiting. We're waiting. Please, those of you are still hanging around. Opportunity is there for you. Yes, yes, yes. The first testifier. You give us your name. The nature of the problem. How long it is. You can talk. My name is Alessia from Zingayu. If it's before, if I'm working, I'll be seeing darkness, darkness, darkness. If I'm working, I will not know what I'm doing. But now I can see and I, I, I can do things now. For how long? Sir? For how long? For since when I was little. Now, who brought you here? Is that the mother? Okay, let us hear from the mother. This is the uh, 20 years old. Now it's dinner. All this is the the warrior. But before, it's just the world they find. But after two days, now the good day, you cannot see again. But right now, my people can see. Darkness is finished. Praise the Lord. He, that is the mother here. That is the mother. He said the Peking can see now. Elijah can see now that miracle will remain permanent with you. Can you hear? There are not any other for 20 years. He couldn't see with the eyes. The mother testified. The mother brought out. She said, He has been walking in darkness. Go with your blessing. Elijah, go with your blessing. Everybody, can you can I hear your clapping? As is that all your clapping? For somebody are not being able to and the mother is telling you saying this is my Peking who have been working in darkness. Now she can see. Praise the Lord. Another testifier. Your name, where you are coming from. My name is Edith. I'm coming from Tunga Market. Last day, June, I have an accident in Abuja Highway. I broke one of my legs. But I came here, I was limping badly. But now I can jump. Praise the Lord! This is not a small boy. This is a young lady. Last year, she had an accident. And she had been leaping. She demonstrated it. She said now she can jump. The healing will be perfected in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. I am not hearing you. I said praise the Lord. More testimony. Your name? Where are you coming from? What is the nature of the problem? And how and what has gone done for you? I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm Mr. Johnson. Johnson Ward, please. Oh, your full name. From Delta State. Yes, well, where are you but staying I, in Niger State? I live in Suleja. Okay. This problem started uh, on, 20, on, on 17 of uh, December. A bit of four hospitals. What is the nature of the problem? 
uh, has a problem of uh, attack. I, the, uh, my urine stop, toilet stop. So I've been in hospital for four, I've been carrying me to four hospitals. The problem stop. Then from there, I carry me four to hospitals. Then as I come back from the hospital, I begin to turn me. I, so I can walk with this uh, walking stick. So see, today I cannot, uh, without, the, without the walking stick, I cannot move. I felt it for, four, for three times. Yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday night. So a, a sister tell me this uh, uh, program here. Yeah. He gave you information about today program? Yes. But this is start from this department of Sliga. I cannot walk. I cannot drive. So a friend of my son, then you take me here with that sister. So gradually, gradually I can walk here with the walking stick. The usher here, they take me to front here. Give me a chair. But now, I can walk. Can you see him? Can you see him demonstrating? Now, who is the woman? Is that the wife? Yes, my wife. Now, let the wife say our, our own portion. Let us hear you. Tell us what your husband has been going through and what she. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise Master Jesus! Hallelujah! Let me just cut it short. After four hospital, we back home. We come home. After the issue of the hospital, every night in the afternoon, attack from nowhere. Attack from nowhere. I cannot open my shop because of him. I close my shop because of him. So, a uh, sister from the uh, Deep Life Ministry, she will be praying with us. Now, in, even there be, uh, yesterday, he fainted. The woman play with us, then you tell us that there's a program in this place. Then we now look for driver to take us to this place. Even this morning, he, no single strength. He walk here with this uh, walking stick. Even he, as he hold the walking stick, the driver still hold him to this place. When we get here, they give him a chair. But as this prayer is going on, I just tell him to have faith. So, just have faith. I know we cannot come here empty-hearted. And by the grace of God now, he can walk on his own. The eye that is dazing him, he all is top now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen! Can you see the joy in the life of the woman? If you are a woman, will you not be happy? Can you clap a hand together to the glory of God? Woman, go back with your husband. The attack is ended. Uh, uh, what is the name and where His is he coming from? His name is Shaibu Umar from Angwandaji. He has in four the... years uh, here in, uh, in this uh, Mina. Nina, yes. He has four years we spent. And with, uh, the, after the prayer of the man of God, he is perfectly healed. He what, was, what was it he wasn't able to do before that? Now? So he cannot squat. He cannot even do things like this. Can so you now, see him demonstrating? Yes. So, Kayika Jemugani. Yeah. Praise the Lord! This God never defeats def 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 anything. You know, our, our pastor said it's for everybody. Praise the Lord. Go and keep your blessing in Jesus' name. 
The next testifier. The next testifier. Yes, 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 yes. We are still waiting. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whenever God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ali Sabine. The Lord have done it. The Lord have done it. Amen. 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 I don't know where to start. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. God, you come here. Thank you. My state pastor, thank you. God will bless everybody for me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As many of you that saw me this afternoon when I come, I can't even walk. They have to hold me. They two two hands everywhere. They, that is how my legs swell up. If you come near or not, the leg has gone down. Amen. Everything has gone it has been punched. Down. Heavy like I was, my body be like stone. And look at me. I can't carry this leg up. This is how I used to walk. Eh? But today, you can see me. Praise the Lord. Oh God, I thank you. Thank Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. All the brethren that pray, they say, Mommy, today is the day. Today is the last day. Today is the day. And the Lord has answered your prayer. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified forever and ever. Amen. 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 You have been put to shame. And forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I know the sister. I never even knew she was the one walking. Because she couldn't walk the way she's walking now. She couldn't walk. When I saw her, I said, what? She, is she, is she or is she not? And when she introduced herself, I said, what? It is going to be permanent. Permanent. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Sarah from Shango District. I'm a member of this church. For five years now, if there is light like this, I can't see clearly. My eye do pay me. But after the prayer, now I can perfectly look at light without any problem. Can you see that? Five years. Five years. She can, you know, she is facing the light now. It will be permanent. The miracle is not only for outsiders. Children will also are taking part of the bread. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. My name is Hadiza Caleb. I want to give God thanks. Since 2014, August, when I gave birth to my last child, through Caesarea, I had this pain because they gave me that injection from my spinal cord and since that time i've been having this pain in fact recently it came and it was so severe i said i must come here and i'm going with my healing today i can turn without pain i can turn without pain and this side of my body was cold i i normally have a side of my body will be cold one will be warm in fact when i got this healing i said god you can still do this one and she is demonstrating normal my body temperature is normal. The whole body is okay. I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. She said she is going back with her healing. And she is going back more than healing. It shall be permanent in Jesus' name. I say it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. I am not hearing your amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Mira Kuchukwemeka. I'm from Sabongeri Group of Districts. Since I was little, I've been having eye defects. But when I, as at 2012, it increased that I can't even see structures of human, or else I put on glasses. So I, I was given a glasses in the hospital, and they recommended I was having astigmatism. So after that, I was given glasses since 2012 up to today. 
But finally, I was praying, shedding tears. I told God that I must receive my own healing today. And now I can see boldly and clearly without my glasses. Before, even with the glasses yet, I won't be able to see all the right top. But now I can see very, very clear. Without, without the glasses. glasses. Yes. I thank God for everything. I can, can you read. see? Indeed. Indeed, oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never put... Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Solution. 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 He had, she said, even with the glasses, she couldn't read. Now, without the glass, she could read. She is going back with a healing. Praise the Lord. Yes. Suna na Christiana. Yezu na diti wantiki. Kudomara. Duka diti na banyi ati abinti kuma. Ushekara. Wata daya derebi. Ama yezu katinda anya adua. Ya uriki. Banyi ya sonku ya kuma. Ama yezu gana atashi. She's demonstrating. Now, can you give a correct explanation? Yes, please. Your name, what's her name? Her name is Christiana. Yes. She has been having this uh, challenge for one year, three, uh, one month, three, three, some few days. She cannot squat, she cannot stand, but after the prayer of the man of God, she is here. She is from Sobob. Okay. Uh, Who knows her before now? Why is okay. Your man. You can, can you give her more information concerning? What do you know about the problem? Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She was sick. Okay. And she cannot even bend. So sometimes her stomach will be tight. Like they tied her with rope. Okay. And she will be pulled from the mouth. And she cannot able to eat. Only light light in it, she can eat. But now she's uh, immediately the man of God pray the power of God touching her and she get healed and she can bend. Uh, uh, yes, she can, can she do it again? Can you see? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Solution, solution. She got it. You will get your own. There are many problems. It's not only a uh, lameness or dumb. Some chronic problem, and God is giving solutions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Esther Adesina from Baiti Sale Group of this street. I'm from. I'm a member of this church. On Sunday, my dad called me that GS is visiting Ninja State. I'm in Bida Polytechnic, so I told him that I'll be coming today. So this morning, I just woke up with a very severe pain under my stomach. And I told my dad I will be coming to this program. So I came for this program. After the last amen, it just left me immediately. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Immediately. Immediately. Solution will come. Okay. But our repair of my head was saying Dagba, Nicking a one Dagba, Nibi, Dure, Boba said Dagba, Nidure, Tom was for my own sixteen years by ye, killing your auto suppression, still no one will rink or come back. But slow and battle was me by Logunia, I hear a share, Boba Cabin, your long logo, put a long shed, one in my home, very much like that. Praise the Lord. You see what has happened? Since she was born, she had this swelling in a very sensitive part of her body. 
Even after operation, the growth still remain. But tonight, tonight, everything disappeared. The mother was rolling on the ground, leaning on the ground because of the miracles. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Mata, this uh, woman, her name, her name is Larva. She has, uh, she has, she has been bleeding for the past four years. And when she was diagnosed, they say she had cancer of the womb. And so they, they refer her to Zaria Teaching Hospital, where they did the work. And when she returned, she has been bleeding all through. But when she arrived, at the come here. The bleeding stop, and as the prayer was going on, there was no trace of the cancer. Amen. Amen. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. This is God's power. 